Hello and welcome to our tutorial for the new Hill SCADA external operating mode. The Hill SCADA and Typhoon Hill API tools are critical parts of the Typhoon Hill testing solution, designed to make it simple for you to visualize, interact, and report on the performance of your model simulation in various test conditions. However, prior to the 2021.4 release, there has been limited support outside the Hill SCADA environment for monitoring and interacting with your simulation during model runtime. This gap was particularly noticeable when developing test scripts for long-running test cases. In these cases, having a means of monitoring simulation performance from your scripting environment early in the test run could prevent a lot of lost time waiting for failed tests to finish. The new Hill SCADA external mode is designed for just these situations. Using this mode, you can connect to a model run by any external program or tool which utilizes Hill API, such as an external testing framework. After connecting Hill SCADA external mode to a model loaded to a Hill device, we can read the signals and modify model inputs on the fly directly from Hill SCADA itself. To demonstrate this feature we will use an already made Python test script using the Typhoon API client libraries. At the beginning of the test, we import all required Python packages, including Typhoon API, PyTest package, and packages used for logging and managing paths. Below that we have defined all the relevant directories and model files that will be used later in the setup function. The first defined function in the script, called setup, is used for preparing the model for other testing functions. In this function, we load the schematic file, compile it, and then load it to a Hill device. After that, we get a console prompt to start Hill SCADA external mode and press enter. This is not a mandatory part, but in this case we want to be sure to start tests after Hill SCADA and the SCADA panels are properly configured. It is important to notice that in order to use this function, we need to use the dash s parameter while calling the pytest command. After pressing enter, the simulation starts and all test cases are called. Just after, that script stops the simulation, which is represented by this command. Next part defines the testing functions. We will apply four test cases, reference speed test, low voltage ride through pulse test, load pulse test, and reference speed pulse test. All the tests are similar and consists of five parts, setting initial values, applying test stimuli, waiting for settling time, data acquisition, and lastly data analysis. For running test, let's use the standard Windows command prompt. Let's type the following command, pytest, dash s, file, path, double dash, open dash allure. In the live test log we can see that PyTest has collected four test items. After loading the model, setting model properties, and model compilation, the test script has successfully loaded a compiled model to the Hill device. Now we are ready to open Hill SCADA. Let's click on the Connect to External Model button, located in the top left corner of the screen. At the bottom of the screen we can observe an indicator that Hill SCADA is now in external mode and that the simulation is not running. We can also see that we have gained access to control of the model settings. All of those settings can be changed both from the SCADA GUI and from the test script. Let's open an already made SCADA panel. In the panel we have four widget groups. The first one is for observing the test results, the second one is for motor control, and the last two are for observing signals from the simulation. Let's press the button for starting Hill SCADA. It is important to understand that this button is not starting the Hill simulation, but only Hill SCADA itself. Hill SCADA needs to be started in order to initialize all Python namespaces and start the widgets. Now we are ready to continue the test run. Let's press enter in the command prompt which will start the simulation and continue test execution. At this point you can see in the indicator that the simulation is running. While the test is running, we can observe results, override commands, and observe signals shown in the monitoring widgets.
As you can see 3 out of 4 test cases have passed. After the test script stops the simulation, Hill SCADA stops automatically. Now we can keep SCADA in external mode, or disconnect it and continue to use in a standard way. Of course, you can continue to explore all the results in the OR report as usual. This is all for this demonstration. We hope that this feature will help you save time in your work. If you have any additional questions or topics that you would like us to cover, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.